Um, our next reader tonight is Richard Weston. Richard, welcome. Two times hard to follow. I want to talk about a, a, a lady who was very special in my life. Um, she was from British Columbia, and she uh, married a Swedish fellow. They settled in Sarnia, almost to Prince Edward or Point Edward, and uh, had two children. One of them, fortunately, married my oldest brother. And this is a fond farewell to Swanee uh, in remembrance of her in the celebration of life. So to you, Swanee, we all come to say a fond farewell. To a person who has, not, has been touched, has touched all of us and made our hearts swell. You welcomed us with hugs and nice kisses. So nice to see you, you'd say. Our spirits soar miles. Your friends here today bridge all vast interests and ages. Just like the broad spectrum of books you read, pages and pages. Words used to describe you are dignified, caring, precise. But there's one thing you don't like, and that's those horrid little mice. Other words people use are kind, generous, intelligent. And you always dress with care, looking so very elegant. Blue and yellow were two colors you very often wore. Methinks you were bridging the space between BC and the Swedish shore. At times at work, our volunteering, you were a natural, your presence at all at ways always strong. Those determinate more determination, confidence, and sincerity than mighty King Kong. Your walking face pace left more most people in their mid dust. To walk with you, being in shape was a definite must. Other interests you had were Tai Chi and Bridge, clearly two of a kind, the first nature of the spirit, the second the mind. Your love of people, special occasions, the theater and travel, demonstrated your sense of humor and vitality. Nothing made you unravel. You always, you always led by example. Your legacy lived on through your two lovely daughters and your talented grandson. And so, dear Swanee, we'll say au revoir to your wondrous soul. We know you'll be waiting to welcome us all at life's final goal. Au revoir. Aww. Richard, Richard, when, when did she die? Uh, about 10 years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful.